Hey guys, uh, Robbie here again. And today I want to talk to you about how your failures and your weaknesses actually end up being the source of all of your strengths and good qualities. Um, about me in general, what's going on? Uh, it's really cool getting back to doing funnels again. It's been like a year and a half since I started doing funnels, uh, you know, the first time and selling products. Uh, really enjoying every moment of it. I mean, uh, like just the sheer amount of st stuff you can put in a funnel, you know, because I, I was already getting a couple of people every single day just, you know, signing up, getting the book, some of them paying for it. And now I, I found like a small thing that I could change that when I change it, uh, it's called a double opt-in. Like instead of that, I, I will switch to single opt-in and then I got like twice as many subscribers per day, uh, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, yeah, that and like many other cool stuff where, you know, you see the, the like you get twice the sales here and twice the sales from that. And uh, I really miss that shit, especially the, the passive income part of it, uh, which I am now enjoying. Anyway, um, your weaknesses are end, end up being your strengths. So I met a lot of people that have really been fucked by life, including me on some occasions. And I've also met a lot of people whose life would, like exploded in terms of amazing heights. Uh, people who uh, slept with over 150 girls in a year, uh, people who make over 50, 60,000 grand a month without working more than like a couple of hours a day at best. Um, so I really seen, I won't say like the top obviously, but I've seen very high levels of success and also very low, low levels of failure. And there's one common thing between the both of the groups. The people who failed, um, they went through a lot of shit and the people who succeeded also went through a lot of shit. So where's the difference? Well, it's pretty simple. The people who failed uh, and, and just stayed there, basically, they gained uh, powers. And these powers I've seen ranging from a deep degree of empathy uh, and, and ability to understand others and ability to uh, enjoy the smaller things in life and appreciation for it. And the people that have uh, succeeded in a big way failed because their businesses got fucked up. Uh, they, if it's a women, then it was a girl that fucked them up real bad. Um, and they learned from that also things like uh, motivation, hustle, uh, driving yourself. Um, you know, you only get these qualities when you break down. And everything I have in my life today, uh, starting from the peace that I learned, the peace, you know, not no longer letting your thoughts run your head and just, you know, feeling a sense of gratitude all the time. Uh, that came because my head got fucked so bad uh, by all the shit that I went through. Um, same with business, you know, why did I learn it? How did I end up um, investing over $100,000 uh, when I was just 20, 21 years old, taking loans for fuck's sake, to learn from mentors and, and, and travel to meet them. Well, I was just really, really fucking pissed off because I failed on so many levels from a relationship that went bad uh, up to like a story that, you know, I'll tell you in my second email, uh, if you sign up for the book, you know, in addition to the amazing shit you get from the free book, uh, on the second email, I'll actually tell you what happened that made me invest all that money. <laughs> Uh, and finding mentors, you know, finally like having that thing that just pushed me to to make it. And um, anyway, all of these things, all of these qualities, uh, they come from failure, not from success. Uh, success, the only thing that success caused me is to be arrogant, is to make mistakes, is to uh, appreciate myself more than I should have. Uh, to become a bad friend to people, uh, to become stressed about things. Uh, that's what success did for me. And then when I kept on it, it basically turned into failure because the business suddenly crashed because I couldn't take it anymore. 
because uh, the relationship failed. And then when it breaks down, you gain, uh, if you climb back up, you actually gain uh, the benefits, you gain the lessons that were hidden behind the failure. So again, I learned to be humble because I had so much and I was so fucking arrogant and then bam, like one day just lose it all. Uh, I learned peace because everything collapsed in my business and I had so much stress uh, with people uh, calling me up, you know, where's my money, where's my money? And, and, and being like depressed, not even being able to, to get out of bed to some extent. And having that happen, again, my mind broke down. I had to find peace. Uh, so, so I just stopped thinking <laughs> completely. Um, and that, again, I got because of the pain. Uh, again, same with business. Every single lesson I've learned, I've learned either because I applied it and it worked amazing, and then when I stopped, I suffered, or because I didn't apply it, I, I suffered until I started applying it, and I was like, oh, okay, I know I need to apply it. So pain, suffering, failures, they're all the blessings in disguise that you're looking for. And it's hard because we as a society are so against death and so against anything that is related to death because pain means death. Pain, pain is leading to death. Suffering means death because suffering means leading to death. But um, if you want to be successful, not just in a business way, but having a good life, having peace, having uh, a serenity, having uh, good social skills, having uh, deep wisdom, deep understanding of life, um, it all comes from pain and suffering and failures. Sorry. So I'm not saying necessarily to go after them uh, because that's not necessarily the idea, but what I am saying is there's no such thing as success without a lot of failure. <laughs> Uh, because if you succeeded um, without failing, that just means you're gonna be fucking arrogant and then that's gonna make you crash even harder. Um, so it's inevitable and you can't escape, can't escape it. And I know that so many people are going to talk about how to be successful, how to make it happen, you know. Again, the people that want you to be successful, that truly want you to be successful, they're gonna tell you like, hey man, you're gonna fucking suffer. Like get ready to eat some shit because if it takes time, then you eat shit because it takes time and the, the waiting to, is the shit, you know, in the bad way. <laughs> but if they tell you like you're gonna get results quickly, like I do a lot of times, again, it means, dude, you're also gonna go through shit because when you get quick results, you fuck it up, okay? And I, I, I never seen someone, not once in my life, get quick results and actually not fuck it up uh, within the first year. Never, not once in my life. And I know many people that succeeded and not only in uh, business, in all areas of life. So, so, so always be aware of that and embrace it because the more you suffer, the deeper your pain, the more benefits you're gonna glean for it, from it. And that is truly what makes you unique because anyone can make a lot of money. There's no, nothing to gain from it in terms of personality, in terms of deep uh, fulfillment because you, know, you make more money, of course you feel awesome, but it doesn't necessarily affect you on a deep level. Uh, but let's say you make a lot of money and then you lose all of it, or let's say it stops being fulfilling and you feel like shit and you hate your life, there's the opportunity for growth because from there you can learn uh, peace, you can learn to be humble, you can learn to appreciate it, you can learn to handle finances better. So accept pain, accept uh, frustration, accept suffering, accept failures, not only as, as a necessary evil, but as actually as the blessing because the pain will uh, force you to grow. And the scary thing about pain and failure is that we can't control it. So if, like success, you, you think you can control. So you're like, yeah, I want success because success is awesome and I'm gonna benefit from it. But, but when I tell you, hey, if you suffer pain, if you lose a lot of money, you're gonna learn how to handle your finances better. Or if you uh, fuck up your life, you're gonna learn how to find peace. Nobody wants to actually do it because uh, willingly, 
because you don't know if you're gonna get out of it or not. And that's really the scary shit and that's why in every single um, piece of content, like big course or book I make or coaching call I make, I always talk about the mistakes you make when you become successful uh, to in the hopes that you will listen and avoid the failure and thus making it unnecessary. Anyway, um, this is the message for today. I'm shooting off to bed, uh, already preparing my trip to Thailand next month. Super excited. And um, other than that, I'll let you know about the funnel, how everything goes. I'll be sure to update you with analytics like I fucking love to. And um, let me know what you think about the video. And let me know what's the last failure big failure that you experienced. Ciao.